Today we're doing a calibration for the three-point hitch for a case CX80. So first thing you want to do is obviously download the instructions on how to do it because following step by step is very important. So before you end up doing your calibration, you have to make sure, and it says at the, st at the top here, you need to get it to 100 to 200 pound weight on your arms back here, which I put my blade on. About 200 to 300 pounds, I'd say. So got that all hooked up, and I have it floating in the ditch there. So it's right to the bottom. So we should be good to test it all out. After that, you need to make sure that you're up to 100 degrees Fahrenheit on your transmission, which I've had this machine running for about an hour now, hooking it up and doing other repairs on it. So we're, we're good to go for the heat. Next thing is, when you are going to do all of your yes and no's, it states on this switch here, there's your yes and your no. You have a solid click on the bottom. You have a momentary switch for the top for your yes and your no. And when you're looking from the angle here, if you look straight back down, right here is your display that you're wanting to look at. So every single time that flashes the, the number corresponding to your next step, you need to really pay attention to it because it's all yes and no answers. So your yes is your momentary. So all you'd have to do is click it once when the instructions are stating yes or no. Here is yes. No is here. Press that switch down and then to bring it back to center. That's all you have to do. No is complete. So to begin, you need to push and hold the up down switch in the momentary position while starting the engine and then release the up down switch right here. When the diagnostic screen down here shows the first character after the eight appears on that diagnostic screen. So to start this, I don't have a stand or anything to really show you my angle and do it at the same time, but you need to hold the momentary switch in that position while starting the engine. And you have to watch your display. So as soon as you see the first character after the eight, you let go of that momentary switch. Mine turns into a two, flash is zero a bunch of times, and then turns into a C. The C now means that we are in calibration mode. So just so you can see, now it is the letter C. Which, with that calibration symbol up, it is now asking us, do we want to calibrate? So now, as the instructions say, answer yes to calibrate the hitch and continue to step three. No to display the error codes and refer to page four. If you're just looking for error codes, you can select no. But we're picking yes, and yes is our momentary switch. Which, selecting that, has now turned into a smaller letter C. Which really, as it states here, it's just asking if you want to continue through to the calibration. So again, we are pressing yes. Which, then we have the number 9. But on here is actually a G. So, the diagnostic will say display G. Does the tractor have two loading sensing hitch pins? We do not, as it states right there. We select no. No is that to the middle. So we are now showing 11. So our, dis our diagnostic display will read 11. Does the tractor have an upper limit potentiometer? Answer, it's already there for us, yes. So, momentary switch. We are now showing seven. So now that we're displaying seven, we have to select the correct model code, answer yes until the correct model code is shown in the diagnostics display. Enter the mode, enter the model mode, enter the model code by answering no. Man, that's a tongue twister. We have no booster cylinder, so one. So we are just going to answer yes once on the momentary switch to show one, then we select no to select it. Now, we are showing one flashing into the calibration mode. The diagnostics display will read C was the correct model code selected. Now we answer yes, so momentary switch, yes. So we're now showing the number eight. So our answer is yes, holding that switch, our momentary switch in the yes position until our whole hitch system reaches the bottom positioning which mine is already there, so we'll answer yes. 
Now it has dropped to the lowest point, and we let go of that momentary switch. So we are now displaying six. Now that we are reading six, we have to turn the position control knob fully clockwise to the hitch raised position, which our control is right here. Our raised position, right there. Which then we will answer yes, and the hitch will begin calibrating, and it may take several minutes for the hitch to fully calibrate raised. So we answer yes. And now it will go through its process. And it will take several minutes, so we'll get back once it comes back up. During this process, it will flash that, on mine at least. So my system is slowly starting to lift as it's calibrating. Raises a little bit and records. Raises a little bit and records. Sometimes it moves further than other points. And there we go. She's coming all the way up. So now that it has reached its full height position, it has stopped and is now showing nine. So step 10, when the hitch is fully raised and the diagnosis display is reading nine, turn the position control knob fully counterclockwise to the hitch lowered position. So now we have to turn this all the way down. So we're in that position. After doing that, we then again select yes on arm switch. So yes which dropped that right to the bottom. Which, as it states here, the hitch will immediately lower for one second, after which the hitch will begin calibrating and may take several minutes before the hitch lowers, which mine lowered pretty much all the way, but it's gonna to continue to do its calibration, as we can see by the flashing light. Oh, flashing light stopped inside my knife. Oh, there it goes again, she's still calibrating. Now that we are fully lowered, we're showing a U symbol. And as it states here, when the hitch is lowered, the diagnostic display will read U. Is the hitch fully lowered? Important, do not answer yes if all hitch movement has, <laughs> until all hitch movement has stopped and the hitch is lowered, it's fully lowered or the hitch calibration procedure will have been, will have to be repeated, which it is, so we answer yes. So we are now showing zero. And finally, step 12, the diagnostics display will read the system normal code zero. So our calibration is completed. I hope this helps somebody, because it took me a while to find it. Have fun, enjoy, and uh, have a wonderful day.